if x is not equal to negative 1, for, solve for x in the equation 2 cube root of x plus 3 is equal to negative, over, negative 1 over cube root of x. Okay. Okay, so we have this. Let me rewrite it. 2 cube root of x plus 3 is equal to negative 1 over cube root of x. So what's, what do you think is the best thing to do? Well, we could. We could, by default, um, multiply both sides by cube root of x just to get rid of that denominator. So this will become 2 cube root of x squared, right? Plus 3 cube root of x equal to negative 1. So I think we can see from here that this looks like a quadratic form if we let if we could let y to be equal to cube root of x and i think we can just have that here in this form now 2y squared plus 3 3y and i just put the negative one here at the right at the left it will become plus one equals zero so we need we just need to factor this applying factoring by guessing 2 2y plus 1 and then y perhaps plus 1 also right equal to 0 let me check 2y and that i think yeah that works the middle term will be 3y plus 1 you need to check that by foil multiplication and then equate each factor to 0 so 2y plus 1 equals 0 and then y plus 1 equals zero here you'll have y is equal to negative one half and here you will have y equal to negative one and if we re return the original variable which is cube root of x cube root of x is equal to negative one half we cube raise both sides to the third exponent you will have x equal to um what's that negative one eight right and how about here well, here, if we have cube root of x equal to negative 1, raising both sides to the power of 3 will give us x equal to still negative 1. However, we don't use this solution. We don't use this solution because according to the problem, x is not equal to negative 1. So surely, we can say that now x is just equal to... Okay, so this, is, this will be our answer, right? x is equal to negative 1 over 8.